And there come this particular day. And at this time, when I say they've got the weight of the world on their shoulder, I know what that is like. Because it gets you here and it pulls you down. So what was it weighing down on me? It was the study. It was the commute. It was no relationship with a girlfriend. It was a feeling of isolation. It felt a burden to my parents. There was insensitive comments. There was no career, work pressures, and just no light at the end of the tunnel. So I've got this brave face on, not letting anybody in. And as a workplace conversation, they talked about husbands and wives, what they did, what their responsibility was. And somebody said, well, the husband, he's responsible for getting the motor vehicle maintained. Somebody else has said, oh, well, the wife, you know, she's responsible for shopping, you know, keep the kitchen all stored. And somebody's pointed out and said, oh, Greeny, he's got it easy. He doesn't have to worry about any of that. He lives at home with mum and dad. Now, picture a capable 33-year-old male living under the roof of his elderly parents. Do any visions come to mind? Any ideas? Any of my thoughts? Huh? Loser? Well, that's exactly how I felt. And that was a straw that broke the camel's back. I caved internally. I come visit the upset. I had to leave the office. I said to myself, though, because I was heading for the car, but I said, can't do that to Dave Stevenson. He's the best boss I've ever had. The functioning and the morale of a working is a reflection of the boss. I'll go see Dave. Dave saw I was highly distressed. He took me to one of the empty, demandable buildings. We sat on the steps under the Queensland sun, I might add you. And I told him all what was going on in my life, how I was thinking, what I was feeling, what was weighing down on me. I let it all out. And he shared a story with me about his life. And then he suggested I pack my things up, go home, get involved in things he knew would help me. Running, watching a film, taking my mind off it. And the very next day, I turned back up. This is the big man here. Unfortunately, Dave has uh, passed away at a uh, very young age of 47, and I had the honour to be a uh, pallbearer at his uh, funeral. And on my website, uh, the valediction I wrote for him is there. And if you read that, the one thing you'll learn, it wasn't just me. It was everybody else he was able to touch with his incredible uh, interpersonal and leadership skills. 